Greetings everyone, this is Dungon here with episode 3 on the Minecraft fan server. And I'm at my little ice base. Um, I'm not sure if you saw this last time or not. I'm th pretty sure you did actually. Yeah. But um, this tree canopy has grown much larger than last time. And it is also taller, more consistent, and more full. It is also three high everywhere on this ground floor. I also worked on a border around this edge with tree trunks all around with fences and planks below and I've reached all the way down to this corner. Um, this little hill right here is going to be like a staircase up into the tree canopy because a large part of my build will be actually on top of the tree not beneath it and like this would be a natural walkway from the snow biome onto my tree top. So I'm going to use this for that. But all this was not flat. Oh, I'm too late. But all this was not flat. It was very rough. And I've been digging it out. I dug out a ton of dirt and stuff. And here it is. This this used to be a full, full hill here. And what I want to do is make, make it so everything in, beneath the trees is this layer above the ground so beneath here um, I'm going to want to raise it up a few blocks and in these parts we will dig it out more so I'll use the dirt from here and that hill to fill in the huge holes in this part of it but also in this project I want to finish the complete border around it all uh, make sure it's lit up but like all these trees around the border I want to get it completely surrounded so I could let the animals in my base go and then start um, breeding them. The mushroom and the cow. If I recall correctly, you could breed the two and they'll um, spawn a baby one of one of them. So either a mushroom or a cow. So once I get two mushrooms going, I could fill this whole bottom area with mushrooms and... Um, survive a mushroom stew and I won't have to rely on the community wheat farm anymore and creepers are buffed apparently oh yes this is 1.3 um, the server was updated to 1.3 and we're in 1.3 right now and enchanting got a whole lot easier and up in the screen you'll see a little clip of me going on an enchanting spree it took me roughly one minute to reach level 2 to level 30 and that was crazy cool and at the end of it I enchanted a diamond tool this one I'm breaking 3 efficiency 4 silk touch 1 the best thing I could have possibly asked for came true because ice yes look at this oh man I never imagined seeing that as real, this is really cool. Um, let's get rid of this and get all this other bits ice. But look, ice and ice super quick too. Um, let's move that torch and we have ice all over the place. Oh yeah, this this is gonna be very helpful with all my builds and all my plans for the server to uh, create mini adventures for people to try out and bring the multiplayer back or bring the multi back in multiplayer yeah this is pretty cool already a full stack nice it just rips through it this is pretty sweet all right and so yeah that's, that's my plans for this area and now what was that? That was not me in the water. What was that? I'm fairly certain I didn't splash in the water, but who really knows? Maybe it was the torch on, in the ice forming or something like that. But creepers are buffed, and that's going to really mess up PvP. Because TNT was also buffed, and it really matters now what difficulty it is. And hmm, 
the server is on hard from what I've ever recalled from it but I'm not really sure what happened there but I have free coal now <laughs> so yes I'll, I'll I want to continue this project more than my project at spawn I don't quite have the resources yet to finish spawn so and I do ha have them for this like I have the dirt from clearing it out I've been using stone shovels because they're fairly quick in itself The reason, <laughs> yeah, these are uh, cows and moose streams and pigs. They try to go through the closed doors, but ignore the open ones because these doors are actually reversed. This is open and this is closed based on how I place them. So they're trying to get through the quote open door when it's actually they can't, and their pathfinding won't detect that it actually is open. So I really didn't really need all everything, but. I just went with it anyways, and doesn't bug me. So, time to get back to work on all of this down here. Clear out the rest of this ice. Fill in this area and dig out some more and finish this project up. Alright, I'm back. I went on a little underground digging spree. Quite a bit of obsidian for my spawn my spawn house but I'll get into that in a little bit but this area is a lot more complete um, basically this whole ground is now the same level it's all this height all the way around all flat um, all the way to the walls surrounding the entire underside of this um, the tops of it is not done yet at all um, you can see a lot large gaps here and things like that and the fences are not done around the entire edges yet but this is mostly done also the torches are all lined up nice and even in their little rows and I think this is the best arrangement for a gap in between the two torch blocks and this allows for no mob spawning in the middle but the main point of this is I got a message on Skype that unmasked the person I pranked in the last episode, episode 2, responded with a little something at my... Oh. Listen to that weird sound lag. Okay, it's, but it's at my spawn place, I guess, because it wasn't here. And the message was two days old because Skype likes to send the messages late for some reason. But I'm going to go to spawn and meet you there. Are these all 
replaced all my glass with glass panes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? Really? And he got rid of all my fire. Why are all my torches here? All these torches. <laughs> Picking in you by Odd Mast. Lots of weird stuff. Lava buckets, glass, fence, flint and seal, glass panes. Let's read this book. Are you sitting comfortably? You are. Well then, let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a great, well, half decent elf who berated and mildly annoyed the all powerful and great, but better than half decent, shy and modest Ongmast. <laughs> Now this elf knew not what he had entered when deciding to help, well witting, wittingly pranks to be accurate on mast. I, my words just messed up there, I'm trying to figure out what that just said. Um, uh, this elf knew not what he had entered when deciding to help, well wittingly prank to be accurate. Oddness, for he had teamed with his previous nemesis, Dyrdorf, to retaliate against this puny elf. I did not team up against him, I was protecting you against him. <laughs> you know, it's late and I'm running low on adjectives. <laughs> LOL, JK. But really, to cut what I could... To cut what I could make a really long story, this is just the beginning of your end. <laughs> oh no. I hope you have a towel because you're going to be rinsed. That sounds a lot better in my head. <laughs> Lots of love on this. Postscript. This is very, very small taste of what's to come, so don't get too full. Oh no. Look at all this. Even my lava and my torches. Fortunately, fortunately, so my silk touch, I could just go. If I don't efficiency for everything else. And then get rid of all these. I just dug the dirt somehow. Um, it used to be. I got myself in the hole here. Um, let's get some lava. Let's put this obsidian away. Actually, let's leave this chest alone and put it in here. But, I'm going to have to get back somehow. I am a third party faction in this war though. I'm not on Dyer's team. Um, I was actually defending you against him. <laughs> But, we shall see. I'll have to plan... Plan something, that's for sure. Look at these. Empty buckets now stack. So, it used to be like this. And then, actual glass... Like this. There we go. So that's fixed. And now we have a lot. <laughs> a lot more stuff. To fix up. As well as build the actual. House on this plot. <laughs> so. We shall see. Let's get this. I will be fixing this up. And thinking of a way to retaliate. Really?